Yo, what is up YouTube? My name is Aaron and today I have another strategy for you guys. It is a two player strategy that can become a three or a four. In fact, the more the merrier. The only thing I would say is not to go down to a solo strategy. I do think this is good, but I don't know. Playing in solo, you are right next to Quick Revive and Jug, but it just seems a little bit sketchy, especially if you run out of ammo here. You will have to pretty much buy your way out instead of being on the steps where we are where we're at last time to where you can just run around and hop down so definitely two players or more with this strategy and basically as you can see right here electric bow uh, right now I'm just bringing ammo because we do have a max that we're about to pick up but what you want to aim for whenever you shoot is the ceiling uh, you're gonna see like a few rocks or you know the rock from the mountain that we're in hang over the actual wall you want to aim in that general area when there are zombies and when they're not whenever you know you do have a clean shot aim at the ground and as you can see I'm aiming high right now you want to hit that rock up there and what that's going to do is make sure you don't hit a zombie in front of you floating a dog coming by and to keep your shot as far away from you as possible you and your teammates because that's very important if they start to get inside of this room you don't know what is dead and what is not dead uh, the wolf bow is really good to have at your back just to clear out the room and set your lightning bow up a little bit further away now the next bow I would say would be good if you did a three player um, would probably be the void uh, the fire bow is really good if you want to um, I don't know run if you want to train zombies but I think the void would be good here uh, I would recommend shooting the void down below not where the lightning shot is but on the ground level and I think you'll kill zombies a lot faster that way the only reason why you have to shoot electric here is because they also do come on the top level now the part of the strategy that does become difficult is dealing with panzers and this is where I want to ask you guys what you do to kill panzers so far we have used the rocket to kill panzers we have used our bows to kill the panzers we've used haymaker ray gun death machine to kill panzers and what we tried this game I think it's called pop shocks uh, it's a knife that you can go up and knife the panzer and it instantly dies. That one's very good. That's what we use if we have them. But we need a more definite way of killing panzers. So if you guys know something, oh, and we've also, you know, put the two, what do you call the things, gravity spikes down on the ground. And it, it holds the panzers. It's nice. It works. But it doesn't kill zombies. And I think one stops at around 27 and two stops around 47 like if you put two down at the same time um, just using them to pound the ground yes does kill zombies and I think that does last forever but you need something that's going to kill multiple zombies otherwise it's kind of a waste and it's very dangerous to do so whatever you guys think of to kill the panzers maybe there's like an LMG on the map that's pack-a-punch it's just really good to kill them let me know down below um, also you know it's it's one of these games where we don't have a plan for the Panzers or the like the Marg was in Shadows of Evil I mean the plan was in the beginning one person take the entire horde to one room and one person deal with all three Margwas you can't really do that on this mainly because the Panzers are much harder than the Marg was and it takes more than one person to kill them especially if you use ammo otherwise you're just gonna be shooting for days that's something that I don't like about this map are how the Panzers just keep getting stronger but sometimes you have to deal with that and that's what we've had to do this game so hope you guys enjoy this my name is Aaron I will have a video coming out tomorrow make sure you watch it peace